Hi, I'm Paula from Happy Yoga Wales and this is a very short yoga flow for your mornings. This is suitable for absolutely anybody and you don't need any props. I always like to have a couple of blocks handy just because it makes some of the poses a little bit more accessible. So feel free to do the same. Or if you haven't got blocks, a couple of books or firm cushions will do just fine. So we're gonna start today in any seated position that feels right for you. I'm sitting in cross-legged. You could bring a block underneath your seat just to lift the hips a little bit higher and then bring the hands to the knees, roll the shoulders back. And then as we inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. And then exhale this first one out of the mouth. Let the hips sink down deeper. One more big breath in, keeping the gaze low. And exhale, shoulders melting away from the ears. And just bring the fingertips either side of you here. And as we inhale, lengthen one more time through the crown of the head. And then exhale, just let the right ear come down towards the shoulder. Inhale, center, taking it nice and easy, left ear to the left shoulder. Inhale, back to center. We're gonna keep moving with the breath. So inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. And then exhale, bring the right fingertips down to the ground, lengthen through the left side of the body. Gazing down at the mat, or up if that's comfortable. And then inhale, back through center, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, left fingertips down, extend through the right side of the body. Inhale, back to center. And then we're gonna twist, bring the left hand to the right knee. Right hand just comes behind like a little support. Lengthen through the crown of the head here. One more time, big breath in. And then exhale, just twist in a little bit more if that's comfortable. Inhale, reach the fingertips up. And then exhale, twist opposite direction. So softening the shoulders away from the ears here. Take another breath in as we lengthen a little bit more. And then exhale, draw the belly button in. Maybe twisting just a little bit deeper. But take it nice and easy, especially if you're doing this in the morning. Inhale, back through center. And then exhale, bringing the hands through heart center. Okay, coming on to hands and knees and setting up with the wrists directly underneath the shoulders and the knees under the hips. And spread the fingers nice and wide. Inhale, let the belly come down, find your cow pose, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, push the ground away. Separate the shoulder blades into cat pose. And then moving with the own breath, take two more of these. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. So nice, deep, full breaths in and out of the nose, if that's comfortable. And then coming back to neutral, bring your right leg through in between the hands. This is where blocks might come in handy. Slide in them either side of your front foot, just underneath the shoulders. And then just let the hips start to melt forwards here. So broad through the collarbones. Feel free to find a little bit of movement side to side. And remember this is your practice, so if your pose doesn't look exactly like mine, that's absolutely fine. The main thing is how it feels to you. And we're aiming to feel good in this short practice today. So then send the hips back just a little bit so we can slide that foot back. Coming back into our tabletop position, sliding your blocks out of the way if you've got them. Take the knees out a little bit wider and then walk the fingertips down, finding your child's pose. So the hips are down towards the heels as close as possible. If the ground's a bit far away here for the forehead, you could put a block underneath the head or a cushion if that's something that you've got available. I'm just taking a few more breaths here. Again, letting the shoulders melt away from the ears. One more big breath into the belly. 
and exhale, sigh it out. And slide the hands back in towards the head just a little bit and then lift and the hips coming back into our tabletop position. And then take in a couple more rounds of cat cow here. So inhale, belly down, chest forwards. Exhale, push the ground away. Tuck in the chin in, really lengthening through the back of the neck. Maybe noticing the difference between the hips here. Inhaling, cow. And exhaling, cat. And then setting up for our lunge on the other side. So bringing your left leg through this time, getting it there however is comfortable for you. Bringing your blocks either side of that front foot if you're using them. And again, don't rush into the deepest version of your lunge here. So just take your time. You can even bring your blocks up higher, finding some space, rolling the shoulders down. We're all about looking for space in the body. We don't want to create tension. And just breathing into that sensation wherever you feel it. send the hips back just a little bit so you can slide your left foot back to come back to all fours pushing your blocks out of the way if you've got them coming back to our tabletop position this time tuck the toes under and we're just going to take a downward dog before we finish up so pressing firmly into the hands lift the hips nice and high keep the knees bent so really looking for length through the spine head and neck are just relaxed here Maybe pedaling the feet, bending the knees one at a time, breathing deeply. And then when you're ready, lowering the knees back down to the ground. Oh, I lost my microphone. <laughs> and then crossing the ankles. Coming back to our seated position. If you remember which leg you had in front before, bring in the opposite leg in front this time. If you don't remember, don't worry. <laughs> and then stacking the shoulders nice and tall, roll the shoulders back. Resting the hands on the knees, palms facing down. Take a big breath in, lengthen here. Exhale through the mouth, let the hips sink deeper down into the ground. One more big breath in, lengthen. And exhale, let the shoulders melt away from the ears. And then bringing the hands to heart center. Thank you so much for doing this short yoga flow with me this morning or this evening, if it's evening where you are. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do go ahead and like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of this practice in the comments. And if you'd like to see more very short practices like this, then let me know that too. And finally, head over to happyyoga.wales if you haven't already. There are tons of practices over there too, short and full length practices of all different styles of yoga. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon on the mat.